Also tonight, police in Eastchester say they are close to making an arrest after a frightening incident at a school full of kindergartners and first graders. A homeless man got past security and spent seven minutes inside unsupervised. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports the man may have tried to do the same thing in nearby Scarsdale. We're all a little frazzled in the community. Anxious parents brought children to Waverly School Monday, which opened on a delay so police could brief staff on a frightening incident. What went wrong is someone was let in the building and our school didn't follow standard operating procedure. The PTA co-president was seen closely questioning Eastchester Police Chief Tim Bonsey, who confirms that on Friday, an older homeless man who walked with a cane talked his way past the school security officer. The unauthorized visitor spent seven minutes wandering the school and allegedly stole money from an unoccupied classroom before staff spotted him and escorted him outside. We should have been put down on lockdown immediately and the man should have been apprehended and the police should have been called, not an hour later, while it was occurring. After reviewing surveillance video, Eastchester police say they are confident the homeless man did not approach or interact with any of the 460 kids inside Waverly School. We've learned police in adjacent Scarsdale are trying to determine if the same man tried to enter Immaculate Heart of Mary School last week. Religious instruction classes Monday afternoon were canceled as a precaution. Back in Eastchester, the district says the guard who worked for Summit Security has been relieved of her duties for allowing the intruder inside. We need to make sure established protocols are followed to the letter, and we do need to improve some of the seams or gaps that sometimes appear in protocols. No one should be allowed through that door unless they have a purpose and they're on a list. Otherwise, anybody could walk in. Exactly. You know, and it, you need to identify any potential threat when it's in front of you. Parents say security only works if it's properly implemented. In Eastchester, New York, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.